back again to our uh, midweek devotionals. I want to begin with reading from Isaiah chapter 6. This is uh, when Isaiah received his commission. We'll be reading in uh, verses 1 all the way down through uh, verse 8. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a throne, high and exalted. The train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphs, each with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, with two wings they covered their feet, and with two wings they were flying. They were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices, the doorpost and threshold shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. Woe to me, I cried, I am ruined. For I am a man of unclean lips, and live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Then one of the seraphs flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken from tongs from the altar. With it he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin has been atoned for. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, here I am, send me. You know, this scripture reminds me of uh, a box of crayons. And you say, well, how does it remind you of a box of crayons? Well, you know, I think a box of crayons, if you look at them, they're, uh, each of these crayons are sitting in their own particular place within the box. Each one is considered a, a beautiful cray crayon because it is uh, definitely well equipped to... Uh, to color a picture in. Uh, you know, they're going to be making a beautiful picture from all the different colors that are combined together. You know, as lovely and varied as these, as these colors are in the box, they have to leave this box to do what they were meant to do. So I was thinking as members of a church, I think we often are very similar. You know, we go to church and we sit in their pews and uh, and we, we celebrate being in, there together in the pews and, uh, and we're courteous to each, each other and we love each other and we hear good sermons. And, but I think also part of that is we have been equipped to not only stay within the walls of the church, we've been equipped to leave the church in order to do what we were meant to do and that's to serve others and bring about the gospel of Jesus Christ. So. This box of crayons, you know, when a parent gives it to a, to a child, they know, hey, they're going to immediately open up the box of it, these crayons, and they're going to start using them, which they, sh which they should be doing, exactly. Of course, there's always a risk that when they use these crayons that uh, they know they're not going to be returned to the box the same way they were taken out of the box. Because uh, what happens, I think, is the, the pretty wrappings of the crayon are, are taken away. Sometimes the box is, is even torn. The crayon seems to get shorter sometimes and uh, you have pieces broken like this. But actually when this happens, that means that the crayons are serving the purpose they were meant to serve. So going back to the crayon box again, we are also members of the church that are like crayons. And we're to be about, just as these crayons were, to go out into our community to serve. We know when we, we serve that we're not going to be returned uh, or affected in the same way we were before we went out. Our lives are going to be changed. Maybe our pretty wrapping's done away with. Uh, but we know when we do that, though, the, the glorious work is being done because we're doing what God equipped us to do, and that's to serve others. So when we hear the saying, as Isaiah did, when he said, you know, who shall I send? We have to be like that box of crayons, not one that has not been used, but one who has been used up. Let us be spilled out for Jesus Christ. As a body of believers, we can say, Lord, send me. So we know it's worth the risk to do that because when we go out into the world, God allows us to color the world with love. So I'm challenging this week to go color your world with love. Let us pray. Father, send me. 
I want to serve you. I want to make a difference in people's lives. I want to be one of those crayons that's been broken for you and did and do what it's meant to do. In Jesus' name, have a great week.